Hi, I'm Danny Halbum. Welcome to my studio. Today what I'd like to talk to you about is the mall stick. It's something that I use all the time. Um, I don't know, some people have used it. They've used it very much in the past. Nowadays I'm not sure that um, too many people know about the mall stick, so I thought I'd make a video of it to show you because it's a really important tool. What it is is just a stick. Uh, it could be just a plain ordinary uh, wood dowel or even just a plain stick if you want. Um, myself, what I use is, uh, this is a, a roller, you know, for rolling um, paint on your wall. And what I've done is I've taken the top off and I put a hook in here. And the reason I put a hook on here is because my easel, I have a light up here that I just hook onto the top of it and that holds my mall stick on just like that. Now, the other thing that I like about this is it is adjustable. You know, you can make it larger or shorter, however you want to do it. You know, just to, um, you know, if you're using on a small area or you're making a larger painting, whatever it is. Um, for the most part, because my light is so high up, I use it fully out. But here's the thing about the mall stick. What it primarily does is it keeps your hand off the painting. So if you've got a wet painting, you can still get in and you can do fine line detail without ever touching the canvas or the paint. And it also, it acts as, sometimes I've done ship paintings and you need to do a nice fine line for rigging or if you're doing any kind of a line work. These work great because I can just take my paintbrush and just start at one point, hold my mall stick steady and I can just go straight down and I just ride the stick and it makes a nice straight even line. So it's great for making lines, but usually I don't do too much line work. It's mostly stuff like this. And what that does is again, I can get in and do some really fine detail without my hand shaking and it keeps it off the canvas in case this is wet here. I don't have a fingerprint that I've got to touch up later on because I'm resting up against it while I'm doing that. So mall sticks are great. Um, like I say, if you have a regular mall stick, uh, you don't have to have a hook on the end of it. What you can just do is just lay, whoops, is just lay the mall stick on the edge. Again, if your painting is, is dry enough or on the edge here, even if it's wet, you can always touch that up. But you can hold it up against the edge and you can still get in there and just touch it. So you don't have to have it hooked up there. The other thing is too, if you have your mall stick, let me see if I can shorten this. and you're wanting to, let's say you want to make a straight line down here and you don't have anything to rest it up against, what you can do is put your hand, grab the mall stick, put your hand up against the side of the painting and leave about that much gap, you know, from the painting to the stick. And then you can put your hand on it and you can just go right along because this is a straight line and it'll follow a straight line this way, same way the other way too. So mall sticks are great. Uh, it's a great tool to have, it's a great tool to know about, and um, it'll keep your hand nice and steady and you don't have to worry about touching the paint. So I hope you enjoyed this and um, go ahead and paint, it's a lot of fun. To see more of my artwork, you can go to my website at inspired-art.com.